Hello, welcome back to my channel and in today's video, uh, we're going to work on the uh, sub trunk and we we'll try to configure one sub trunk with uh, port set PBX. So let's start this video pretty quick. So if you go to the Twilio, once you log into your account, you need to search for Elastic Sip Trunking here. Yeah, so Elastic Sip Trunking Dashboard, as soon as you click here, you will be on this dashboard here, just like this one. So the next thing is you have to add a new Sip Trunk. Let's just click a new Sip Trunk here and then uh, give it a name. So in our case, we give it a name as Board Sip. All right, so once you give it a name, it will take you to this page and it will ask you a few options to just set this as uh, our default. And let's see what how, yeah. Okay, it's been saved and now go to the termination. So the termination is uh, the new SIP URL that you're going to create. So we can use here simplify networks.psdn.wio.com for now. And then authentication, you can add uh, one of the pre-created uh, IP addresses or you can add a new one. So let, let me show you how this works. So if you go to create a new uh, IP access list, we'll give it a name, whatever you prefer. So in our case, let's give it a name of port. And then you need this IP address of the server. This is IP address of your main uh, PBX server. It's just copy it from here. Uh, I'll select this as 32 if there is only one server. And then uh, give it another friendly name and create an ACL. So as soon as you create an ACL, it will come under this list and you can choose one of uh, those here. And then same for the credentials. If you want to add a new credential, just give it a name. I'll start by giving it a name. So let's give it a simplify networks a new. And then try down the admin and whatever password you want to prefer. That should be at least 12 minutes long. That's what is recommended. So you can use this one or any other list, any other in the list that you already created. And uh, that's all from this page. The next is origination. So uh, when it comes to origination IP, you need to add a new URL, which is zip colon your IP address from server. Just save it. And then CNAM lookup is used for Canada and USA if you want to have the caller ID name uh, for your incoming calls. Just uh, enable this one, otherwise just leave it as off. And the last step is to add the numbers to this trunk. So you can use uh, any of your existing number or buy a new one. So to do so, just select the number, add it to the SIP trunk. That's all you need to do. Uh, on the preview side and then uh, and zip configuration for the server that is different for uh, like that's different for each server and uh, I'm using port zip that's not very common these days so uh, that depends on how you want to to use your uh, server by the configuration for the Twilio side is as I show you already and if you have any questions about this video or you like discuss something just post your comment and I will try my best to get back to you guys as soon as possible thank you very much for watching and if you like this video do subscribe to the channel hit the like button and shoot with your friends